A tow truck driver runs a red light, hitting and killing a woman in northeast Fresno. Fresno police have identified that woman killed as 22-year-old Amaya Chenault of Fresno. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco is live at that intersection and spoke with a homeowner who installed cameras at that light. And she fills us in on the changes that he's hoping to see in his neighborhood, Myra. Liz, I'm live near Frank Road and Shepherd Avenue right near Woodward Park. A homeowner in this area tells me he actually installed cameras facing this intersection after hearing car crashes and sirens all the time. Since then, he learned this area is, is a hotspot for crashes. Warning ahead of time, this might be a disturbing video to watch. A deadly crash was caught on camera around 1 Wednesday morning near Frayette Road and Shepherd Avenue in northeast Fresno. A tow truck was spotted running a red light and crashed into a sedan. Fresno police confirming the woman inside the sedan died at the scene. She has been identified as 22-year-old Amaya Cheno of Fresno. It's really heartbreaking to see a, a tragic accident like this happen where a, a life was taken. Dan Wells, a homeowner in the area, tells me the intersection is a known hotspot for crashes. Almost weekly, there's always red light runners. He says his son recently installed a camera at the intersection in order to catch a glimpse of what he says has been a constant soundtrack. Actually, accidents are happening anywhere from two to three weeks. That and a whole lot of people running red lights. Uh, late at night, it looks like it's intentional. During the day, more or less, there be what we think is possibly um, influenced by people making a right turn onto a, a shepherd. And it seems to be giving them an eyesight of green light. Well shows us what he thinks the problem is. You see this traffic moving. And if this lane's open, he sees the green light that's just right about here, and he just goes right on through. In terms of this deadly car crash? Somebody like that probably was not doing it intentionally. I really think most of the people that are running these red lights are just being confused with what's going on around them. They're not paying attention as they go through intersections. Uh, I've found myself now being so much more careful at all intersections, and this one is probably one of the worst in town. Well, says a city council member for this district, Gary Bredefield, has been made aware of this problem and is taking action. He also says he hopes the city does something fast to prevent this from happening to somebody else and their family. In North is Fresno, I'm Myra Franco, Fox 26 News. All right, Myra, thank you so much. That video is just wild to watch. And tragic as well, showing the crash that happened overnight. Now, Wells says that even if your light is green, it is important to always double check your surroundings. That crash remains under investigation. Now, Fresno police have confirmed to Fox 26 that the intersection is one of the highest traveled intersections in the city, and it does report that there are issues with crashes there, as we saw in some of those videos. It says it has dedicated resources in the past to make that intersection safer and will continue to do so.